When I received a message about Faye, a dog full of ticks and fleas sitting outside of a local pharmacy, I went there straight away, armed with next guard Spectra. I planned on giving her this powerful pill that would kill all the ticks and fleas in a few hours, and then they would drop off to the floor, and she'd be fine. But when I met Faye, I realized that her situation was more severe. Her ears smelled so bad, likely from an infection caused by the ticks in them, and she was full of mats. I decided to take her home, give her a bath, cut out her mats. She made herself right at home and loved the good food and all the cuddles she got. I gave her a bath and cut out all her mats, and she already looked like a new dog. It was great to see this change. There was only one problem. All the dead ticks were still stuck to her body. I have never seen a case like this. Usually all dead ticks fall to the ground, but in this case, and I have no idea why, they were so tightly embedded in her skin. It would be impossible to take them out one by one with my fingers or with pincers. Luckily, with some advice I got, I heard that I could use a Ferminator. And I have to say that the Ferminator worked wonders. It took us five hours using the Ferminator to get all of the ticks off her little body. As you can see with the help of the Ferminator, the ticks were finally falling off. Poor Faye's ears were totally infected and bleeding. We were so happy once all the ticks were out. We gave her one final medicated bath to get rid of any itching, any bad smells, the dry blood. Five hours of work, two baths, and finally her hair was silky smooth. Her skin was smooth. There were no ticks left in her skin and you could actually see a difference in her character. She was a happy, healthy dog again. These are the transformations I live for. This is the magic I live for. Seeing a dog that no longer suffers, a dog that can actually enjoy its life without scratching itself to death. This is completely priceless.